Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. Today in this video, we are going to create a password input field. You will see this type of password input field on lots of website where you can display and hide the password. Here we have this icon. If I click on this one, it will display the password. And if I click again, it will hide the password. And this icon is also changing from close eye icon to open eye icon. And in this input field if I write something it is displaying like this and if I click here it will hide this one. So we will learn to create this toggle password using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. So before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start the video. Here in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file and two icons. You can find these icons download link in the video description. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added the margin padding, font family and box sizing. In this HTML file here we have the title for the web page and this is the link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file because here I have added style.css the file name of the CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag. So here within this body tag we will add one div with the class name input box. In this input box there will be one input field so we will add the input and input type will be password and after that we will add the placeholder and in this placeholder we will add the text that will be displayed inside the input field so it will be password and after that let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see one input field at the top left corner. Here it is. Let me close this browser and I will open the browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again but the URL has been changed. So let's come back. Let's come to the CSS file. And here we will add the body and for this body we will change the background color. So write background and one color code. After that come back to the web page you can see different color on the complete web page. Now we have to move the position of this input field. So just come back and here we have the class name called input box. So just copy this class name write it here in this CSS file. Here we will add the background. Background will be triple F which is white color. And after that we will add width it will be 90% and maximum width will be 500 pixel. After that border radius will be 5 pixel so that the corners will be round and some padding to add space inside the box. So 10 pixel from top and bottom and 20 pixel from left and right side and let's add the margin 300 pixel and auto so we will get space 300 pixel from top and bottom and it will be horizontally center so you can see this box here in this one we have to add one icon also that will be eye close icon or eye open icon so let's come back and in this HTML file after this input field we will add one icon with the img tag write the file path i close dot png so you can see this icon next we have to align it so just come back and uh, in this input box we will add display flex and align items center. Now you can see it is in the same horizontal line. Next we have to increase the width of this input field 
and we will decrease the width of the icon so just come back and uh, again add this class name input box and in this input box we have the input field with the tag name input here we will add width width will be 100 percent so it will use the all space available in the row then we will add the padding that will be a space inside the input box after that we will add border 0 and outline 0 let's increase the font size 24 pixels so that it will be clearly visible and we will change the color also next again add that class name input box and here we have the img tag so for the icon we have to add the width 35 pixel and cursor will be pointer after adding this again come back to the website so you can see this input field looks good here we can add anything and here we have the i close icon next we have to add the click feature that will display this password and hide this password for that just come back and uh, come to the html file now in this input we will add one id so let's add the id called password and in this icon also we will add one id so the id is i icon after that just above this closing body tag here we will add the script tag script open and closing tag here we will create variables so write let i icon equal to document dot get element by id add this id duplicate this line and we will change it as password and password so we have two variables here after that we have to add the click feature on the icon so here we will add i icon dot on click equal to function now whenever we will click on the i icon it will call this function and whatever code will be written in this function that will be executed so first we have to check whether the password is visible or hidden for that in this input field you can see i have added type is equal to password it means the password will be hidden and here if i write type is equal to text then it will become visible so here by default we have the type password it means it is hidden so we will add the same thing here here we will check if write this password to identify that element dot type so it will check the type of that element and if it will be equal to password so the type is equal to password then it will change it to the text write password dot type equal to text so if there is password then it will change it as text and if there is text then it will change it as password so again copy this one here we will add else condition and write password that's it after adding this again come back to the website and here if i write something and click on this i icon you can see it is displaying the text and if i click again it is hiding this text so this display and hide password is working fine now we have to update this icon also right now you can see if i click here this icon is not changing so we have to change this icon when we click on this icon for that again come back and here you can see if the password type is text it means it is visible then here we will add the icon so 
take this variable i icon dot src equal to and through this src we can update the icon so here we will add i open dot png that's it and copy this one add it here in this else condition and it will be close dot png i close dot png that's it so it will update the icon also after adding this again come back to the website and if i write something here then click on this icon you can see the icon is changing here we have open i icon it means password is visible and if i click here it will become close i it means the password is hidden so finally we have completed this toggle password using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video